Well, in this video, I will show you how you can use the file manager in D1000. I have made an application example with a lot of pages, most for the different screens. But I also made a page here for the file manager. In the template and also in the API, it's called Deer API directory. So in this page, I start to have a look in this, well, what I call select directory. There I have picked all the different locations where you can store your files. You can store them directly in the application and that's the path for that. You can also store it in the internal memory. That is the path for that. And you can store it on a USB drive that you connect to the display. And with a switch here, I select which directory I would like to use this time. And I do it with a counter. And that counter is controlled from uh, other screens then. I would like to have a more understandable name on the screens. So at the same time as I switch, different directories, I also show different names on the screen. That's all I need for directory, but you also have a possibility to copy files between directories. So I also set up a possibility here to select these two, internal storage and USB drive for destination of a copy. You can't use the application as a destination for a copy because it is fixed. You set it up before you compile and then you can't add or remove any files. To add it to your application, you have to go to Project Manager and go to this screen and Application Log Repository. Expand it and in a DM1000 you will find something called media repository. Right click on that one, and there you can add media file. So I have some files already in my example, some PDFs, text file, MP3, MP4. The advantage with putting it in the application is that you will not forget to add it to your display. When you download the application, you have all the media files you need also. So we leave this page, here I select my directory in this page, and that is corrected then to dear API. So that's a definition, which directory I want to use. When I've selected a directory, then I need to select which file I want to use. And the files that you find in that directory are listed in these inputs from the operating system. I have only show selected one of these locations, the first one, and I read the file name there. Of course, that will be the first file found, but if it doesn't match, then I can use my file index setting here to make an offset of your file list. So if I put in a number of offset here, finally, I will find my file I need here in this position. Once again, a counter I have used. So every time you set a pulse here on next file, it will step one step in the offset until it reach the number of files you have in that folder. And then it starts on zero again. So you step around in the list of files. I've also added possibility here to copy a file or delete a file. The file name is copied to copy file name, delete file name, and read file name in my API. To get the correct path for a media player, for example, or PDF viewer, I must connect a file path, both directory and the file name. But they are not put together yet. So here I have my directory, and here is the file I want to use. So I have to put them together into one string. And that is done in this concatenate page I have made. To do that, first I have to retype both file name and directory into an array. And then I look in my directory array for the value zero. 
not the ASCII code for zero, it's value zero. That indicates the end of the string. So I use that position to start position where I want to insert my file name. And that result in a complete path in array, and then I have to retype it to string and send it to the different functions in DM1000. Media player, PDF viewer, etc. In uh, it's not really related here, but I show also the possibility that you can make a screenshot of a screen to use in your manual, for example. And in that, also you can select which directory you want to save it to. First, I have added a set pulse from Service Tool. And then I have selection here that default will be the internal storage. But if you set this to true, then you will save your screenshot to a USB drive instead. You have to go to Service Tool and expand your ECU. Go to this Manage ECU Media Files. First, in that window, we'll say that now when you start this file manager, it will stop the execution of your display. So the picture will freeze now. Then you start it here. Now it's reading all the information, both from application, internal memory, and USB in this case. So there you have all application files you saw before I have added. Go to optional files, there you find P1 user is the internal memory and SDA1 is the USB memory. So here you can add and remove files. So if you right click here on there, you can add a file. And if you want to copy a file here, you can save it. Or you can delete it also. So you modify your internal memory in this way. For the USB, you can disconnect that one. So in this case, you can't delete anything. You can just save a copy. But of course, it's easy, easy to detach your USB memory and then modify it with your laptop. Thank you for listening. I hope you have use for this information.